Hey everyone, and welcome to River City Home Buyers Manifestation Mondays. Um, this past week, a friend, probably that many of us have in common, a friend and colleague was traveling to Seattle with their family. Um, Seattle is one of my favorite cities, absolutely love it. And there is a very famous, well-known fish market in Seattle, um, Pike's Fish Market. And what makes that fish market so unique is the attitude of an atmosphere of the people working there. So back in the late 90s, um, employees there, you know, realized that, let's face it, cleaning and packaging and selling fish is not a very glamorous job, not a lot of, you know, fun, um, kind of could be like drudgery, right? And so the um, owners and employees of Pike's Fish Market adopted something that has now become an actual product that is used in schools, in businesses, all throughout the country, and it is called the fish philosophy. So what they decided was they wanted to take something that could be maybe a place that people weren't too excited to come to work at every day and turn it into just a great place to be for not only their staff, but for their customers. And so it's a fun place. Um, they will, they throw, they take the fish and they throw them to each other and, and call out and yell out and they'll throw the fish and have their customers catch it. They have like a gum wall. They have, it's just a really, really cool place. And it developed into a business philosophy that you can bring and take into your workplace and your team building and all of that. And it's based on four daily premises that can make the workplace somewhere that people want to be. And so the first thing is be there. So what that means is to be really truly present in everything you're doing while you're working throughout your day. So not just going through the motions, not just coming in and da -da 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 answering emails da -da -da -da, like a robot, but to really be present pay attention, take a moment, say something to the people you encounter in your day. Um, notice things that maybe you're going on around you. Um, think about what's, what's your next move. What's something, what's that one more, right? So be there. That's the first one. Play. So a lot of times workplaces can become a little serious, right? Because work is serious and jobs are serious and money is serious. And so sometimes we get so caught up in the seriousness of what we're doing and the stress and everything that goes into our work that we forget to have fun with it. So another challenge for you this week is try to have a little fun while you're working. What that means to you could be a lot of different things. I've been in places like Cash Geeks, where they have, you know, areas of, of the uh, office where people can go and kind of take a break. Um, I saw somebody else, they have like a ping pong table in their office. You know, if you have the ability to add something that would make it kind of fun for your people, if you have people working, you know, with you and in your office or in your building, is there something you could do, a little break area, a little, you know, brain break, type activity, you know, maybe ask somebody, ask your people, you know, what would be fun? What would be a good way to just have a little fun in the workplace? You know, there's people that, you know, maybe sound off a little thing and everybody gets up out of their seat and does the wave and sits back down. Like there's a million ways. So think of a way that you could maybe make it a little fun in your workplace if it isn't already. So there's be there, play, Make their day. Wow. So what can you do to, you know, you're not going to please everybody. You're not going to make everyone just love you every single day. 
um, that you work. It's, it's an unreality. And as an employer, um, it's really tough sometimes, right? But what can you do to make someone's day? So just one thing every day to add value, right? Or to offer some help, some assistance, maybe just holding a door for somebody. Maybe when you go to get that coffee, you pick another one up for your colleague. Maybe you pay for that car behind you, do that little pay it forward thing. It doesn't have to just be the people that you work with, right? Family members, anything. So you have be there, play, make their day. And maybe the most important one of all is the fourth premise, which is choose your attitude. Choose your attitude. Wow, is this really a tricky one. I know that on a personal level with, um, you know, I have a very strong work ethic and high expectations of myself and a lot of integrity that I do when I conduct my business and, and the way I do things in life. And I sometimes have to remind myself that everyone is not going to be the same. And just because they respond or react or act in a certain way doesn't mean they're intentionally not being ethical or doesn't mean they don't have as high of expectations of themselves. Just maybe sometimes they have a different way of doing things. And so I can fall into that frustration trap sometimes. And, you know, we all know that when we feel frustration, if we let that emerge and we don't kind of check ourselves a minute with our emotional intelligence, we can react poorly in certain situations. We can maybe snub someone in unintentionally or say something kind of snippy or just have that frustrated tone in our voice. And those are things that can hurt us in the long run. So choose your attitude. You cannot choose how someone else acts, but you can always choose how you react. Put these four into place. Do a little research on the fish philosophy. Look up Pike's Fish Market and have a great week, folks.